As you know, this terrible plague has inflicted grave hardships on our people. We mourn for every life lost. We pray for every victim. And we shoulder this burden together as one people, one family, and one great American nation. Thanks to the profound commitment of our citizens, we've flattened the curve, and countless American lives have been saved. Our country is now in the next stage of the battle, a very safe, phased, and gradual reopening. It's a reopening of our country. Who would have ever thought we were going to be saying that? A reopening, reopening. One day they came to us and they said, Sir, we're going to have to close it down. We had the greatest economy in history. Darius can tell you about that. Greatest economy we've ever had. Best employment numbers, history of our country, best stock market in the history of our country. Most number of jobs, almost 160 million jobs. We were never even close to that. And they said, Sir, we have to close it down. It's a terrible thing, but we did what was right. And now we're reopening our country, and it's going to be something very special. I was saying before that we're going to have a transition period, third quarter. It's going to transition. Fourth quarter is going to be very good, we think, very good. And I think next year we're going to have one of the strongest years we've had. They want us to think of it. They do everything they can to make things as bad as possible. And right now, the stock market's way up. Everybody's excited. They're going back to work safely, but they're going back to work. We're opening up our country again, and this is what we're doing. And I'll tell you, the whole world is excited watching us because we're leading the world. Mr. President, are you concerned that what happened should never, ever have happened? China should have informed us that they had a problem. Mr. President, are you concerned at all by some of the recent modeling? Have you spoken to President Xi about your I have not spoken to him. No, I have not spoken to him. I might, but I haven't spoken to President Xi. I have not. Yes, Jennifer? Mr. President, if the New York Times numbers are about the virus increasing are wrong, what are your... Well, it's a report, and that's a report with no mitigation. So based on no mitigation, but we're doing a lot of mitigation. And frankly, when the people report back, they're going to be social distancing and they're going to be washing their hands and they're going to be doing the things that you're supposed to do. Uh, we won't be going into stadiums full bore yet. We're doing mitigation. We have a lot of mitigation. The fact that they're out, they're mitigating, they're social distancing, they all know that. They're washing their hands a lot. But we have to get our country open. We have to open our country. So you have all reports. Look, models have been very inaccurate. I've seen models that are very inaccurate. What if they are accurate? But you know, one model that's very important is that if we did this a different way, we would have lost more, much more than two million people. And we did it the right way. We